Well, Kate Blanchett supports Labor... Shall I start that again? <laughs> Kate Blanchett supports Labor's carbon tax and you should be absolutely furious about that. Well, that's at least according to the tabloids over the weekend. What if we say yes to making big companies pay when they pollute our skies? And finally, doing something about climate change. Hollywood star Kate Blanchett and the castle's Michael Caton side by side endorsing Labor's carbon tax on behalf of independent environmental organisations. It's hardly the first time celebrities have endorsed something, but according to News Limited, Blanchett's involvement in the ad sparked outrage amazingly before it had even gone to air. According to several articles, the millionaire Hollywood actress was accused of being out of touch with hard-up Australians by endorsing a new tax she could easily afford. Ironically, Senator Barnaby Joyce was quick to endorse the News Limited line of attack and criticised Blanchett for endorsing something she didn't understand. I say to Kate, just think about the people who really are doing it tough now. In response, Julia Gillard endorsed the Hollywood star for endorsing the PM's policy. Kate Blanchett has had her voice heard on climate change. That's appropriate. And Blanchett's not alone. Today, 140 community leaders publicly supported the carbon tax, including former Liberal leaders Malcolm Fraser and John Hewson. You can criticise uh, the selection of the 140 that put up their hand at but I'll tell you, there'll be tens of thousands of, the, of others out there who will believe exactly the same thing. So should Hollywood stars keep their views on government policy to themselves? Or is there a more sinister reason for the backlash against Kate Blanchett? To his thoughts, we welcome ad expert Paul Gardner to the project. Paul, would you have used Kate in this campaign? Look, Carrie, whether you think she's carbon Kate or whether you think she's concerned Kate, the fact of the matter is Kate Blanchett is suddenly becoming Australia's Jane Fonda, an actor-activist without the training videos. She is a fantastic <laughs> talent and if she wants to express her views, I think, why wouldn't you use such a great talent, world-class talent? Now, mate, when I saw the headlines today, I thought the government must be funding this ad. I've since found out they're not. I mean, why all the backlash? I don't know, Hughes. I think the problem is here is we're looking at Kate and saying, is she trying to influence this whole debate, this whole decision? Yet they didn't make the same, the same problem when the mining tax came up and said all these rich billionaire miners are funding a campaign. We didn't make the same mistake when we saw the retailers come on and say, what about an online GST? I can't see the difference. I think it's genuine hypocrisy. Paul, you make a very good point, but it does come down to perception. Do you think there's anything in the idea that perhaps Kate Blanchett doesn't represent average Aussies? I don't know, Charlie. I think what we're talking about here is that Kate Blanchett is representing a point of view in this really, really serious carbon debate. What she is saying quite clearly and quite succinctly is, if we don't pay something now, we're going to pay something much larger, much later on. And I think that's a debate we really need to have in this country, and she's leading the charge. Because she believes it, not because she's getting paid to do it. And the, the Carbon Kate headline and the nature of the story in the News Limited tabloid seems to suggest they were trying to discredit Kate and then through Kate the, the, the tax. And yet, it seems to me that it just drew massively, it drew attention to the whole issue. Well, Barry, as you well know, this is a debate that's been threatening to boil up and threatening to break out in public for some time now. It's about time we got down to the basics of it. What is this carbon tax going to look like and what does it cure? What problem will it solve? Now, advertising go part of that way. And it's not just Kate Blanchett, it's Michael Caton. It's a large proportion of scientists in the world that believe this is a real threat. We have to get the debate out on the table now. And if what she's saying is wrong in that ad, well, the opposition, the coalition and all the opponents for carbon tax, they have their chance to come out and say, this is wrong and this is why it's wrong. And don't people like seeing celebs get off the red carpet and actually front and stand up for what they believe in? I think they do. It's a genuine person. I mean, the cult of celebrity is something that really influences Australia at the moment, isn't it? And whether it's sports people or movie stars or rock stars or Bono coming out and saving the world and freedom from hunger. It's all these things. Just tell us what you stand for, put your point of view there and we'll decide whether we agree with you and want to follow you or not. Well, it's been great to chat to you tonight. Thank you, Paul. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.